Mm-hmm. And this one here, um, roll a, a fair six, this six-sided die. What is the probability that the die roll shows an even number or a number greater than one on the top? In this case, we have 5.2.34, five, chapter 5, section 2, problem 34. If A or B are not mutually exclusive, meaning uh, they can happen at the same time, this is the or formula you have to use. Okay. So, uh, is the even number? Successful outcomes for an even number are here. One, two, three. So, probably that it's even is three out of six. Uh, a number greater than one. So it could be a two, three, four, five, or six. The probably the successful outcome. So the probability that it's greater than one is gonna be five out of six. And so we look at here the number of outcomes that uh, is even and it's greater than one. So it's even and it's great. So it could be a two. It could be a four. Or it could be a six. So it could be a two, a four, or a six. Even and greater than one. So that successful outcomes is three. So that'll be the probability of that happening is three out of six. So since this is they have it, we have to subtract off the duplicates, so we get a, the right count here for probability. So I have the probability of A plus that's the rule. A plus B minus the probability of A and B, so I don't count something twice. Probably that is even plus the probability that the number roll is greater than one minus the probability that is even and n is greater than one. So probability that it's even is three out of six. Probability that it's n is greater than one is five out of six. Minus the probability that it's both even and uh, greater than one is what three out of six. So we subtract these, simplify this, we end up with 5 out of 6 here. So that probability <clears throat> is 5 out of 6.